Hello adventurers, I'm back from my one week hunting trip in Jeju. I was looking for the perfect cafe where I can sit down, enjoy fantastic food and drinks while in sight of a stunning view. By the end of this video, you'll be grabbing your passport, booking a flight to Jeju and making 8 cafe reservations. Let's begin. At number 8, we have Harakeke Cafe. Nestled along the coastline, this cafe offers a breathtaking view within its beautiful, spacious setting. It was super easy for me to find a quiet corner to enjoy the view of my drink. Number 7 is a cafe run by a very famous tea brand in Korea, Ocelok. This cafe made me feel like a prince. The flower gardens and the tea fields surrounding the cafe feels like a royal garden. It's actually part of a tea museum, but honestly, there's much more shopping area than museum area in the whole building. It does get crowded in the main building because it's so popular, but there's a quieter second building where you can escape to. At number 6, we have Biyangno. The best part about this cafe is enjoying their scones with hot tea sitting in their rustic garden interior while the ocean crashes on the rocky coasts in the background. For the best unblocked view, you can go up to the second level. At number 5, the Sonhyu Cafe. So the view is not the main attraction for this cafe, but their food was unforgettable. We went there for lunch and was not disappointed. We had the pastries, the risotto and the garlic prawn pizza. Oof, they were delicious. And eating in this beautiful modern garden interior really amplifies the dining experience. This next cafe gives you an amazing view of a very famous geological landmark. It is said to look like a dragon in the water. Honestly, I cannot figure out where is the dragon? Which shape bears the head? But the fierce ocean waves battling against the jagged rocky cliffs was incredibly stunning. The best way to enjoy this cafe is to get a drink, find a good seat by the window, and watch. <laughs> if you're enjoying this list so far, please give it a like so that more people can find it. Now, we're down to our top three. At number 3, Cafe Gyukot Darak. This little cafe looked very small and insignificant from the outside. But the moment I stepped in, everything changed. I love how the windows are draped with pretty curtains that makes incoming light feels so elegant. The best part about this cafe is the many many orange tangerines in the backyard that makes everything so much more vibrant. The name Gilkot Darak actually means a cafe where many tangerines and flowers hang. And I think they executed the meaning of the name pretty well. About the food and drinks here, I don't really like their jelly. It was too tarty and brittle for me. And the drinks are okay. The main cafe building was quite crowded when I visited. But the backyard in the annex area is so vast, pretty sure you can find a quiet spot and enjoy your time there. At number 2 is the cafe with the most iconic view, the Windmill Cafe. Maybe it's just me, but I really like looking at windmills. For the most stunning view, head up to the roof level and witness the whole row of windmills against the horizon. This cafe is also perfect to watch the sunset because it's located on the western side of the island. The windmills add a good touch of drama into your sunset. The interiors are also very pleasant with many sitting areas to enjoy the view. And at number one, this cafe is our absolute favorite, Silk Whippian Bakery. We just couldn't get enough of the stunning view of the bay from the cafe. The large, tall windows make the view very cinematic. This cafe got our number one spot, not because of their view alone. We also fell in love with their bakery. I think they have the best bakery offering in the whole island. We loved it so much, we ate and drank and spent a total of 
four hours in this cafe and I still want to go back there. This cafe gets a lot of visitors but thankfully there's a second floor full of sitting areas and even a balcony in the upper level so you can definitely find the space to enjoy the amazing food and the stunning view. All the URLs to the cafes that I've mentioned is in the description below. But after having all these stunning cafes, how about have a stunning cultural experience in Jeju, like in this video. I'll see you there.